News investigates has found that there is a solution to get voters checked in faster, but it's not being used in Harris County. Good evening, I'm Lauren Freeman. I'm Bill Biasa. Thanks for joining us. These boxes are filled with thousands of iPads that have been purchased specifically to ease long lines that we've been seeing. Channel 2's Joel Eisenbaum joins us now to show us why election officials are just letting these iPads sit in the warehouse. Joel? Bill, let me ask you a rhetorical question. Would you buy an iPad and then not open it? not use it in any fashion? Of course you wouldn't. But if you're a Harris County taxpayer, you've already done it thousands of times. If you voted early in Harris County, there's a good chance you stood in line. Some have waited for hours. About two hours. The bottleneck is apparently in the ID check-in process. It can be cumbersome. But our Harris County clerk, Stan Stannard, has a solution for that issue. He just won't use it yet. Could they be pressed in the service right now? No, no, I don't want to put them out in the service. They're not ready for prime time. What's apparently not ready for prime time are thousands of iPads, brand new, unopened, sitting locked up in a county warehouse. Eventually, those iPads, which will scan licenses instantly, are supposed to expedite the voter check-in process at the polls. But at the moment, what we've got is about $1.1 million of technology you paid for gathering dust. 2,400 iPads yes. just sitting there? Yeah. We're waiting on these incredible lines and you got 2,400 <laughs> iPads sitting in the warehouse? We do use some of them and uh, as a tool for uh, processing voters on election day that come to early voting locations. Well, but yeah, we probably bought them a little early. I don't disagree with that. You do have to yield an important point to Mr. Stannard, and that is you can't roll out technology like this unless it is 100% ready to go. So what exactly after 15 months is the sticking point here? We'll take a closer look at six. For now, we're live on the northwest side. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Good find here, Joel. Thank you, sir.